Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaizen Seho. I hope you guys are all well. Today, let's talk about fitness. So it's warming up in South Africa, whereas in the Northern Hemisphere, it's getting a bit cooler. But either way, it's definitely a good time to talk about our fitness journeys. And I wanna give you 10 tips today on how to stay committed to your fitness journey and actually how to kick start it if you've never done it before and you are starting at zero we've all been there I've been there quite a few times and it's not about how many times you do it it's about how many times you don't give up because at the end of the day you'll get to a point where you see the progress you get so addicted to it you love your body, you love yourself, you're happy and you're having fun. Let's get into it. Tip number one, you have to have your why. Every successful company has a reason for existence. Just like everything that we personally do that is important, we need to understand why we're doing it. From a personal perspective, the reason why I started my fitness journey is because I am obsessed with continuous improvement. I really, really, really am in love with a transformation process and actually like just incremental improvements and that's the reason why my channel is called Kaizen Tsekho. Tip number two, I think which is very, very critical is having an accountability circle. You need to make sure that wherever you are, whether you're at work, whether you're at school, whether you're at the gym, whether you're at home, you have someone who is aware about your lifestyle change and who is aware that you're trying to make a change to your body. Tip number three, I would say definitely, definitely, definitely get a gym membership. And the reason why I say this, some people might say start small, I mean, if you can't even run outside. How are you going to commit to the gym? And I, personally, I think that's garbage. I think that the gym offers a lot of opportunities for commitment, right? And to get an accountability circle. First of all, there are people at the gym who are probably in the same kind of journey as you or a similar journey. You can make friends at the gym. Number two, the gym has classes. What they offer is literally daily classes that run in the mornings and that run in the afternoons into the evening. And sometimes when you just don't know what to do or you need to like... Um, figure out a program you can actually attend these classes until you build up the momentum the commitment of going to the gym and once you get familiar with the equipment and the layout of the gym because I know that also the layout can be something that is very that induces a lot of anxiety because you don't want to go there and look like you don't know what you're doing I don't know maybe that's just a me thing but it really really helps with getting familiar with the environment and with the people and with the equipment I would say you need to figure out your fitness goals right so once you figured out whether you want to lose weight or lose fat and gain muscle or maintain and tone then you'll be able to know where you're going and this leads to my fifth tip which is invest in a macro calculator the cool thing about the world we live in is we live in a digital age and you no longer need to manually write down your macros and calculate them which is what i did when i started my fitness journey now you can go to the app store type in macro calculator download a macro calculator and what a macro calculator does is it helps you calculate your calories based from three macronutrient categories which are the most important categories to track when you are on your fitness journey and these three macronutrient categories are protein carbs and fats depending on whether you want to lose weight gain weight oh the sun is just following me but um please just ignore how light my hand is this is the real color of my hand <laughs> but yeah depending on whether you want to lose weight gain weight gain muscle the macro calculator will ask you for inputs like your age your current weight um and how active your job is and then it will calculate the macros that you need to intake in order to get to your fitness goal i adjust my macros on I used to adjust them on a weekly basis because I wanted to see improvements quickly but now that I'm in a position where I can see the changes in my body I now adjust my macros on a monthly basis 
So just like the macro calculator, and thank you so much to the digital age, you can download fitness programs. Some people use the fitness programs in the Nike app. My one is currently called the gym plan and I pay around 120 Rand a month. And the cool thing about my app is it actually has a lot of program and you can choose your programs depending on what you want to focus on. The current program I'm on is I think the 12 week black bikini body transformation or something. And I'm currently on the last two weeks of my program and I'm so excited about my reveal day and to show you how my body has transformed. The next thing which I think is very very important and it goes with the space that you create around your journey is following fitness influences. There are going to be times when you just do not want to go to the gym. You just don't want to go there, you're over it and you just, you know, and you've created that buffer of an accountability circle so you have to go. But the second thing is when you want to get into the zone, you need to associate yourself with people who are on that same journey as much as possible. And I find that following fitness influences really helps. I mean, who spends all of their data, all of their time on Instagram? Hi. So Instagram is the best platform to, to, to create that, that influencer world and make it seem as though this is what everyone is doing because isn't it crazy how social media does that? The minute you just keep seeing recurring feeds of, a say, of the same thing, you think that okay, everyone is about this. So it makes it easier for you to stay on track, stay on course and not give up. Set a reveal date. You need to make sure that you are taking either pictures or you measuring yourself to make sure that you can see those incremental changes because fitness transformation is a very slow thing but it's a very rewarding thing when it happens and this leads me to tip number nine have a reveal date this is going to go on and on and on for the rest of your life and you need to make sure that you're checking in and just keeping true to the accountability thing you are showing the universe and your friends and your circles just how far you've come you know um, you need to celebrate the small wins because those are the things that put the wind in your sail and keep you going when things get tough hey, hey, have fun guys as i said the fitness journey is literally a lifetime journey you know and it can become so self-absorbing and it can creep into every part of your life so why not make it fun like make it a thing that you enjoy don't put pressure um, we are the average of the number of meals that we eat so if you're gonna have a donut on a Monday afternoon and have a burger on a Tuesday afternoon that's not even like half of the meals you've had and if we're being honest if you're keeping true to your fitness journey you're exercising you're drinking water you're doing all the things that you need to do how are two meals going to absolutely f up and derail your whole fitness journey they aren't right so you need to just take it easy unless obviously you're trying to go wbff or ibff pro then that's a different story but if you're doing this to elevate your physical mental well-being then just take it easy like if you need a day off take a day off but obviously don't take a day off for the rest of your life because that's not how it works but you can take a day off here and there you can have a cheat meal I don't even call it cheat meals I just call it adding to my macros if you are tracking your macros and you have a macro calculator you know what you can and what you cannot eat um, so so yeah I mean take it easy have fun and that's the most important thing hey, hey. So guys, we've reached the end of the video. If you have any feedback or comments about your fitness journey, maybe there's something I've missed or maybe there's a tip that actually really, really works for you, um, let us know. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's interested in knowing about it. If you like this video and you enjoyed it, please, 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 can you drop me a like? Please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. If you love, should I take that deal? Got a whole lot of options because you know a bitch problem. I'm a high girl, so you know when she is talking.